How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today is going to be a anime movie collection and it's going to be on a series of films that are based on a long running show <laughs> which I believe is still going even to this day and that is Pokemon. So with that let's go ahead and get started. So first up is just a random uh, volume VHS for Pokemon The Johto Journeys Team Green uh, featuring gold and silver Pokemon. Yeah, we just happen to have this uh, random volume. I believe it's the only one that we have. Yeah, because I didn't see any others. <laughs> and this has a nice, like, I guess, like, gold uh, case. And it tells you uh, what number of Pokemon is featured. And here are the episodes. There are three. On the bottom here. So this is a uh, Viz release. And you also get a little card. Here's a VHS. And it's actually a little lenticular. So here is a Bulbasaur. And using the Razor Leaf attack. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I just happened to have this randomly. So I definitely wanted to show that uh, for you guys. All right, so now we're getting into the movies. So we got quite a bit to show here. <laughs> yeah, this is a collection I wanted to show for quite a while. So first up is Pokemon the first movie on VHS. Includes never before seen Pokemon footage. Uh, this might actually be a pretty rare uh, version for the first film. There's this one and the DVD, which are both long out of print. Um, but you can get this film on another edition. And that's on Blu-ray, which we do have, so I'll show that later. Uh, but yeah, I found this recently for like a couple dollars, because I thought we already had it, but we didn't. So there's the Mew, Mewtwo, and Pikachu, all the other Pokemon. And I do have my fan on, because uh, it is kind of warmed up a bit. And I have my lamp on, because uh, the sun's kind of going in and out. So, hopefully things show up clearly. So here's the back. So yes, this does include the Pikachu's Vacation uh, short. And also the story of Mewtwo's origin, which is before the movie. Which was awesome. I remember seeing this uh, growing up uh, when it came out. Real big deal. And I want to say I saw this in theater. Yeah, because uh, I want to say I did. And as you can see, I was watching it, so I'm at the end. <laughs> But yeah, found it in uh, really great condition. Uh, case is a little beat up, you know, old. Uh, but for, for a couple dollars, and it's probably a real rare find now, really awesome. So the first movie. Next up we have... Pokemon the Movie 2000. And this also includes uh, bonus footage. So there's the Lugia, there is um, Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. Some of the legendary uh, Pokemon, pretty much. There you see Ash. And then here is the back. So yes, you also get uh, Pikachu's Rescue Adventure, another mini-movie. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry they're burping. And then you also get a preview for the third movie, whereas with the first one you got the preview for this one. So Alright. And there it is. Really, really cool. Alright, so now we're getting into the regular DVDs, and then I'm gonna show the Blu-rays at the end here. So first up, or next up, no. First up, <laughs> for the DVDs, this is a pretty, uh, I think, rare find, actually, and that is Mewtwo Returns. I don't remember ever seeing this when this came out, um, all, an all-new Johto movie adventure. I remember seeing previews for it, uh, but never picked it up or anything. Uh, yeah, I just didn't remember it, uh, but then finally found it. And it was like eight, nine dollars, which is just 
incredible because this is actually, I think, pretty rare because I don't think this has gotten a, this has gotten a reprint. It's been out of print for a long time. So special features, the uncut story of Mewtwo's uh, origin, Johto League champions, and stuff. So yeah, picked it up, watched it, and yeah, it's really good, really cool. There's the disc, and there is like the chapter index, and yeah. Characters, Pokemon. So yeah, if you are trying to find this, be careful of pricing. It is long out of print. Uh, yeah, but you happen to find it for a good price, I'd say I'd pick it up. Next up is another one that I believe is also highly out of print. Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. The two disc uh, collector's edition. Because I think there might be a regular one in like a keep case. Or regular DVD case. Not quite sure. There you see the cover. Looks really cool. And this is pretty much a uh, digipack. That opens up. So here is the back. And you also get a bonus disc, which has a uh, special uh, Pokemon, the Mastermind of Mirage Pokemon. Which is really cool. Now some of these are released by uh, uh, Viz. Uh, I think others are released by Miramax, I think. Yeah. And you do get the little, get some extras here, which were in here. And it's like a little sleeve, so it fits right there. They see Lucario, Mew, Pikachu, and Ash. Yep, 10th anniversary special. As it says right there. And it just opens up. Turn all the disc. And that is cool. And like uh, Mewtwo Returns, just found it for $9, $10. Yeah, really. Really good. And there are some other ones that I think we don't have. I know we're missing, um, I think it's Pokemon Ranger and the Temple of the Sea. Um, I think there's a couple of other ones. Yeah. And do we have any of the series uh, besides that VHS? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we don't have the original show or uh, any of the other versions or, or other series. Yeah, I'm probably going to pick up the original one because, uh, you know, I grew up with it. Uh, saw it when it uh, came out. Because I remember all the advertisements and stuff and yeah. So that's the inside. And then the outside. Okay. And then the little extras is like a little advertiser for the uh, trading card game. And it has like little info. So like these metal tins definitely remind you of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Which we do have a bunch of cards and stuff for. <laughs> and we do have some Pokemon cards as well I think also. So you get a manga sampler, all that Pikachu, any manga. Because you get all a bunch of different stuff. And open that up. And the end here. Yeah, all-star Pokemon, which I think is a... Uh, that's another series release, I think. Yeah. So you have, so you have the original show, which I believe is called Indigo League, because uh, I remember seeing the Blu-ray for it and stuff, and I believe that's what it's under. You have Johto. You have um, X Y Z or X Y. You have Advanced. There's Black and White. There's many, many different versions <laughs> of the shows. So, all right. So next up, we have. I'm going to show two at a time here. So we have Forever and Heroes. And some of these you can get, uh, like these two for example, and another, and the other two after. You can get them in like four movie collections. Or different ones. Yeah, there's a bunch of different collections. Now the only thing is with that, this has a short that wasn't seen in theaters. Is that you're probably going to miss out on the special features. Uh, for instance, the shorts. 
because uh, there are many of them, and that's kind of part of the fun, you know, trying to get all the shorts. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's some where I think it's all on one disc, or you might get a version where they're all on separate ones, so. Just kind of depends. This one also has a short. Yeah, so some of these were not seen in theaters or on television, so, yeah. Alright. Here's the chapter list. And now, I want to say that all of these, at one point or another, played in the States. Uh, I'm not sure if all of them were in theater. They might have been on um, different, uh, different channels when they played. Uh, but yeah. Next up is Jirachi, Wishmaker, and Destiny Deoxys. And these covers and stuff are cool. You know, nice and colorful. There you see another short. Alright. Yeah, not seen on, or not seen in theater or on television. Yeah, which Pokemon is your favorite, uh, you know, who's your favorite, uh, trainer, uh, which place is your favorite, you know, which league, uh, you know, which, uh, badge would you want to get? <laughs> this is an advertiser for Pokemon Coliseum, uh, which is a video game that came out. Alright, there's a disc for Jirachi, and here is... Deoxys. It was a really cool design. Uh, what do you guys think of the designs? Uh, you know, for all the different, you know, Pokemon and stuff. Feel free to let me know. All right. Here's a disc. Oh, now it's like an envelope for a little advertise a little coupon thing. All right. So now we're down to the last three. So first up we have, I hope I'm saying this right, uh, Diancy, or Diancy, uh, and the Cocoon of Destruction. I think it's Diancy, yeah. So all these ones are on DVD. Uh, I'm not sure if any of these ones have Blu-ray releases. Uh, the first three films do, uh, but as far as like these later ones, some do and some don't. So yeah, just to let you guys know. Yeah, some of them have Blu-ray releases and others don't. Here's a disc. And I believe that's an advertisement for the uh, guides and comics. There's also manga. There's a lot of stuff to Pokemon. <laughs> Here is Hoopa and the Clash of Ages. That's a pretty cool cover. Now these three uh, were new, but I uh, caught them on sale off of uh, Right Stuff. It's pretty cool. And some of them, um, pretty much, you only get them in English. I think all of them pretty much are, yeah. That's an advertiser for uh, Adventures, uh, the manga. I believe that's the original manga, yeah. Here you see the disc. It's nice. And last up for the DVDs is Volcanion and the Mechanical Marvel. So yeah, these movies, uh, you know, after watching the original show when it premiered, you know, the original 150, uh, you know, remember the Poke Rap? <laughs> that was fun. And, uh, you know, I think they coincide Poke Rap, Digi Rap. Because both those shows, you know, were really, really big. And for good reason, you know, they were, they were fun. Alright, so here's a disc for Volcanion. 
All right, so that does it all for the DVDs. All right, so last up is all the Blu-rays, including one live-action movie. So first up, we have the three-movie collection for the first movie, 2000, and the third movie. Now, this is just the basic one. You can get these separately on DVD. Uh, I think they're kind of like just regular like face kind of covers. Or, well, you have like the main Pokemon that they show right here on the covers. 16 by 9 widescreen, English 2.0 audio. This is released by uh, Viz. And here is the disc. So, yeah, this one, they're all on one. Now, there is a Steelbook edition, um, which I did find it second hand but it was like oh my gosh how much was it it was uh i think 40 45 dollars at least 35 and it was really beat up it was yeah i think i think it had a real big debt in it if i remember correctly so i passed on that so just got this one um that one i believe has three separate discs so yeah I'm, if i find one lower i might pick that one up that way they're nice to separate it all right, and quality wise uh it's not bad. it's okay um not sure how the DVDs look if anybody else or if anybody out there has them uh feel free to let me know because uh, they have been re-released also you don't get the shorts. That's a big thing with this uh I know that was a uh, you know kind of a issue or thing with this release uh is that yeah you don't get the shorts it's kind of weird. Next up, we have black and white. And also, none of these, I don't think, are in release order. I just kind of put them all together. <laughs> Both the DVDs, VHSs, and Blu-ray. Yeah, I think some of them are in order, yeah. So here is black and white, the four-movie collection. And some of these, now, can you find these in store? Some of them you can, um, as far as new. This one is in store. Uh, the three movie collection for the original three is in store. Uh, the original series is also in store. Alright, so two movies on each, on, uh, excuse me, each, uh, disc. Looks nice. Very cool artwork. And also the games. There are many, many Pokemon games. <laughs> Uh, I remember uh, Coliseum, I remember uh, it's the one where you take pictures, like you spoke about Snap. Uh, there's one where it's pretty much a fighting game, or uh, Poketen, I think. Yeah, it's like Tekken, the title. Uh, next up is Diamond and Pearl. This is a steelbook. This I got off of uh, Right Stuff. Very nice. And here you have four movies. Really cool. So the three movie collection for the original three is kind of like this. Except you'll have one here and then just two on the, uh, the back on the other side. So there's the first two films. And this one they're nice and separated which is really nice. Really cool. Alright. Next up, we have I Choose You and The Power of Us. Alright. So yeah, uh, just a few of them are on Blu-ray as far as like in the States. Uh, I think it's mostly like these later films besides the original three for the older ones, so... Alright, and the covers on these are reversible. So I'll show that in a second. There, see the back is the same. There is the disc. And also what's fun about these movies is that you get different kind of styles. It feels to them. Um, you know, not all of them look the same. Like you can tell like there's more added detail than others or maybe the soundtrack. It's a little, you know, better and stuff, so. Yeah, that's also part of the fun. 
I just remember this series when it came out and it was everywhere. <laughs> uh, I've ever seen it when it premiered and yeah. Okay. That one right there. Next is The Power of Us. And a bunch of these stories, you know, some are, you know, pretty dark in tone and stuff. Uh, you know, some are more lighthearted and uh, others, you know, are mixed. And so, yeah, you could tell he's kind of drawn differently and stuff or animated different. Yeah, and that too. So, you know, then all the different Pokemon that appear, like the main ones that they advertise in the film and stuff. So, yeah. Or films. So there is the disc. I think there might be a DVD edition for this as well. Yeah, I believe there is. So this is one of the ones, or these two, is where you have to pick one or the other. So. You see the reverse side. That is cool. Alright. Okay, let's put that back in its cover. Okay. So now we are down to the last two. Next up is Detective Pikachu. 4K, Blu-ray, and digital. And you also get a trading card. So this I got on uh, Black Friday uh, during that sale. And it was only, I think it was eight. $10, I think it was. Yeah. I think like 8 or $9. Really cool. And it looks great on 4K, by the way, also. Even the regular Blu-ray uh, looks good. So this you have Ryan Reynolds as the voice of Pikachu. And it is awesome. Really good. He is hilarious. <laughs> Here's the special features and stuff here. All right. Yeah, Mr. Mime, Jigglypuff, whole bunch of different Pokemon. I believe I saw a Snorna Snorlax just like kind of sleeping in the middle of the street. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> Charizard, yeah. Okay. So on the left, you have the regular Blu-ray, and on the right, you have the 4K. Bring it closer. All right. Oh, that's that's better. And then here's the card, still sealed, it's nice and shiny. So coffee break, corkscrew punch. Very cool. All right. Yeah, feel free to let me know what you guys thought of the live action film. I thought it was pretty good. I liked the way they uh, incorporated the Pokemon and the story and stuff, yeah. All right, and last up is a recently released film which is pretty much a almost shot for shot remake uh, with some differences of the original uh, first movie. We have Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution, The Legend Returns. This is the Blu-ray edition. Uh, there is a DVD one as well. All right, there's the spine. You see Mew, Mewtwo on the front. And then here in the back, here's the back, excuse me. So, yeah, this is pretty much a CG version, um, or 3D animated, I guess CG animated uh, version of the first film. Which was uh, pretty interesting. I remember this being advertised uh, quite a bit. Uh, this one, English 2.0, 5.1 audio. It is only in English. That's the only uh, language track. 16 by 9. English subtitles. Alright, so here is the underneath case. And for what they did with this, uh, it's pretty cool. You know, pretty interesting. Um, I thought that was, uh, you know, kind of inter interesting take with it. Because <laughs> you could probably do this with a, with a bunch of films from the Pokemon uh, franchise. So here is the disc and the cover is reversible. There's the Mewtwo and his uh, clones, Blastoise, 
uh, Venusaur and Charizard. All right. And that does it for our Pokemon movie collection as it stands right now. So, yeah, quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, feel free to let me know. What do you guys think of all these films? What do you guys think of this one? The CG version of uh, pretty much the first movie. Uh, you know, I thought it was pretty intriguing with what they did. Um, they could possibly do more of these. <laughs> you definitely could. Um, all right, so now... Let's go ahead and display a bunch of these. Okay, so let's go with um, these two right there. All right, the two VHSs. Right there. So, yeah, this is show some of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, burping there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, feel free to let me know. What do you guys think in the comment section below? Have you guys seen any of the Pokemon movies that I've shown today? Uh, yeah, we are missing some. I know uh, it was Pokemon Ranger. Temple of the Sea is one. Uh, I think there's... Um, I just can't think of them. I think there's other ones. There might be some that haven't come to the States yet. I think also, because... Uh, Pokemon's just been going on for years. So many different versions. You know, you have the original, Advance, XY, Black and White, Diamond and Pearl. So many of them. And, uh, yeah, which series is your favorite and which film is your favorite? And with that, I'll see you guys next time.